This is Diana Sullivan in Austin, Texas, and I want to show how to machine knit a sock on a standard gauge flatbed knitting machine with a ribber. You will need a ribber. And the sock is as circular as it can be made on a flatbed machine. This sock is a toe-up sock, which means you're going to knit it beginning with the cuff. The cuff is one by one ribbing and it is knitted flat. It will require a seam. It will be folded this way and the seam will be necessary on the inside of the ankle from here to here. And then the rest of the sock, all of the parts that are stock and net, can be knitted in a circular fashion and as a tube so that you will not have to so seams to finish the foot of the sock and you won't have lumpy seams bothering your feet. Here's the ankle of the sock, the next step will be the heel of the sock, then the foot of the sock, and finally, using short rows, the toe of the sock. After the sock is finished, it will be necessary to sew the toe together. This can be kitchenered across the top of the foot and it is a completely smooth, invisible seam if it's done correctly. And of course the seam that I mentioned earlier running from the ankle to the top of the cuff in the ribbing. This sock is being made with hand knitter sock yarn. I almost always use wool sock yarn and it's specified for socks and contains a little bit of nylon so that it will wear. I also always buy machine washable wool sock yarn. It has been treated so that it will wash in the machine with all of your other clothes and it's easy to do. I've zoomed up close to show that the machine is set on normal pitch and that the needles are selected for one by one ribbing and it's done in such a way that the needles are not going to collide. They're going to be offset. For the zigzag row, the carriages are set on the tightest tension and they're set for plain knitting. I'm threading the machine and I'm putting a clothespin on the yarn and knitting from right to left to the zigzag row. I'm hanging the comb and I'm hanging a couple of the big weights. Now my carriages are set for the three circular rows that are part of a typical one by one cast on. Tension one on both carriages left part button on the main carriage, right part lever on the river carriage, and knit three rows. Now I set the carriages for plain knitting and tension five top and bottom. I'm going to knit 50 rows for this women's medium size. Right now, the ribbing is done, but it's hanging there like this, down in between the beds. What I need to do with the ribbing is I need it to be folded. I need to move it into a circular shape so that what's going on between the beds is a shape like this or this with the ribbing folded in half so that I can begin this ankle area. So, to begin that process, I am going to transfer the stitches to the left of the zero mark. together on the left. 
Then I'm going to move all the stitches that are on the river to the right of zero up to the main bed. So on the left half of the sock, everything's on the river, and on the right half, everything is on the main bed. I've done my transfers. I've also made sure that all the stitches that need to be out of work are out of work, and all of my left hand stitches are on river needle. Now I'm going to move all of the stitches to the right of zero up to the main bed. And I'll do that right on. Now I'm moving the stitches on the right side up to the main bed. I'm putting them on. Put the regular fabric presser on and screw it down. I unthreaded this blue yarn and I'm going to just park it out of the way by putting it under a little protuberance on the left end of the bed. My carriage is on the right. And what I'm going to thread up with is just some waste yarn and knit a few rows of waste yarn and take this side of the sock cuff off. Remove the weights that I'm just going to knit with an empty carriage from right to left to drop the knitting and waste yarn off. Then I'm going to take the needles out of work because I don't want those in my way. I can reach between the beds and get that group of stitches and then bring it over to the left and I can fold it over and then I'm going to hang it on main bed stitches. First, I have removed my weights and I'm going to take the comb off too. The only weighting I'm going to use while I pick the cuff up at least half of it onto the main bed is a small claw weight. I picked up the piece of, of waste yarn and I've just kind of curled it over the river gate pegs so that you They're very easy to see and very easy to pick up. Now that all the stitches are picked up, I'm removing the waste yarn by unraveling it. And that's how it looks. Here's half of the cup, and the other half of the cup is hanging from the river. It's time to change back to the river arm. And because I'm going from the ribbing, to the stockinette, it's time to change my tension. I have a couple of things to do the knitting before I can start knitting the ankle. I check to make sure that all the needles are positioned correctly and that there aren't any extra needles out. And then I do a decrease on the left hand side of the main bed. This way I have 33 stitches on the main bed and 33 stitches on the river.